Guys, Colonel Ninny here. If you're a ground attack pilot or a ground pounder, one of the most common targets you'll encounter are tanks. Tanks are designed to be well armor plated to protect them from high velocity cannon and shell rounds. So today we're going to take a look at how effective machine gun and cannon rounds are at tank targets. In this example, I'm just going to use the 7.9mm machine guns on this BF-110. The most vulnerable part of any tank is its tracks. If you can destroy the tracks, you will make it immobile. But you won't kill it. And as you can see, these machine gun bullets have no effect on those tracks. So let's do a wing over here and try it again. The second most vulnerable part of the tank is the rear where the engine is. It's got the least amount of armor plating. Regardless of the kind of weapons you have, the best approach to any tank is from the side or the rear quarter. And as you can see, although the fire is accurate, these 7.9mm guns have no effect on this target. And the typical Russian T-34 tank has impressive armor plating. 40 millimeters thick in key areas and 90 millimeters thick on its turret. So realistically, what do we need to penetrate that kind of armor? Here are the German aircraft munitions, but in game we deal with armor piercing and HE rounds, which are blue and orange. Typically, each loadout has a mix of HE and AP rounds. High explosive rounds are very good against anti-personnel or soft targets, but they'll simply bounce off a tank. Take a look at the difference. If you're going to risk your life to destroy a tank, you need to have the right tools. Here's the German anti-tank ammunition. Our aircraft has to be equipped with the same kind of firepower. Here I'm in a P-47 with 8 50 caliber or 12.5 mm machine guns. We're going to see how effective it is. With 8 machine guns there's a lot of lead hitting that target. But how effective was it? Despite a good accuracy, the tank is not even disabled. So scratch the 50 cal for tank busting. Let's look at the 20 millimeter gun. The Tempest has four of them. As I squeeze the trigger, as with the P-47 attack, you'll notice the nose yaw left and right. This is because I don't have rudder pedals. But despite that technical glitch, I've managed to put enough lead into the tank to destroy it. The 109's G14 has a 30mm cannon. It's also effective. But in my experience, it's only really effective against the side or rear armor. And the last gun we'll look at here is the 37mm. Some versions of the Stuka had uh, two of these outstanding weapons. But we're going to try the BF-110G2 version with one 37mm gun. Even though it's an armor-piercing round, it hits the side of the turret and bounces off to the left. And this is my first kill after 10 attacks.
impacting the frontal armor of course has no effect so we'll come around and try it from a different angle. In the hierarchy of effectiveness, anti-tank rockets would be your next choice. And that'll be the topic for another tutorial. So, in conclusion, the best way to kill a tank is with one of these. Unquestionably the most effective means. Again, thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please like it or subscribe. Or if there's another topic you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment. Thank you, guys.